people who are the absolute uh, best performers, whether they're athletes or top surgeons or special forces, is there anything they do different consciously in terms of being able to harness that peak performance over time? I think, yeah, I, I would say that there are a few things that they do amazingly well. And one would be able to understand the context of behavior. People need to be able to understand, and these high-level performers are able to sort of understand the context of behavior at that moment in time. So saying, listen, it's totally normal for me to be feeling this way as I'm going to go up to bat with 60,000 people here. And I've just gone over, they've gone over eight, <laughs> but I can separate that. And I can then still put the mental process in place to be able to say, what are the actions that I need to perform right now that again, I have that clarity towards that's going to enable me to increase my chances of being successful play these little games back and forth because what we need to understand is that even this idea, again, it comes to this, and again, I'm not trying to undermine it, but I think this sort of like Horatio Alger's method of we just all pull ourselves up by our bootstraps and rah, 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 and I'm maximizing the sense of control. What I've seen is sort of backing down, not so much hubris and appreciation for where I am in relation to my environment at this moment in time, understanding that what my mind may be thinking could be combined of so many different minds that have led me to this moment in time. And that with all that stuff, I'm still going to be able to put the pieces in place to be able to focus on certain action items. What are the things that I need to focus on and how do I move forward rather than being again, so reactionary to, Ooh, the pressure, Ooh, this, Ooh, that, like, but some of these people we've also been able to put into the brain scan. And then what I would say, if it was like separating the behavioral side, and again, I'm more biological in nature and, and trying to say, what does the brain look like? It is such a wonderful level of efficiency that it's insane. So one example I would give is, okay, you could take one of the best NHL hockey players on the planet and you could take another pretty good NHL hockey player that's still making three or $4 million a year. And when they are performing certain tasks in the, you ask them to visualize certain things in terms of how they do certain things on the ice. And you watch this light up in real time. The guy that is making $12 million a year has this amazing ability to almost shut off. It's the ability to inhibit. The brain is primarily this amazing compressive tool. You know, it's got 85 billion neurons and it does what it does, generating 20 watts of electricity. You know, at, at the brain level, there's almost this beautiful level of efficiency, which then goes back to that sort of, sort of self-organizing, interconnected, dynamic sort of flow that's just so wonderful to see when you see it.